up everybody, Chronica420 here, and Mars Hydro decided to send me the SC3000, so we're going to get to it with another unboxing video. Let's get everything unboxed and ready to go. What's up fellow YouTube viewers, so we've got everything laid out here, the fixture on the left and all of his components on the right. We're going to go through everything one by one to show you what everything is in this beautiful package. First and foremost, we've got the actual fixture itself here. As you can see, it's got a very beautiful silver paint job to it with a nice chromed out bar style look. I'm really stoked to go over this one with you guys, so let's get to everything it has. Up close and personal, we have the chromed out bars with the three fin heat sink for optimal heat dispersion. Unlike its quantum board counterparts, the bar style lights allow air to pass through for better cooling of the actual fixture itself. Also on the inside corners, you can see we have the hanging mount supports. Basically you would hang your uh, hanging anchors and then your pulleys from that to raise or lower and support your light. On the flip side, she sports a beautiful LED array with 1120 Samsung LM301 and Osram 660 NM LED chips with an efficiency of 2.8 UMOL. Its spectrum ranges from 380, 410, 660, 665, 730, and 740 NM, as well as 2800, 3000, 4800, and 5000 K. As you can see, the LEDs are nice and densely packed in here. I'm sure it will give a nice penetration rating on the canopy. Also, the addition of the UV and IR is a real game changer for Mars Hydro. Next we have the actual combination of the driver and the controller on the mounting plate. This can be removed and placed anywhere outside of the room or on top of the actual bars. She sports a 300 watt meanwhile driver that runs anywhere from 100 to 277 volt AC depending where you live. Also we've got the little mounting screws so you can secure the actual mounting plate to the actual bars of the light. Cool little option added. And on the flip side of this one we have the CP adjust screw. Next we're going to get into the controller here, a beautiful addition by Mars Hydro. This can be used to control the light itself or you can control multiple lights together. As you can see it's got the power button on the left and in the middle it's got two RJ11 ports for daisy chaining all the lights together for control from one controller. And then last but not least we've got that beautiful potentiometer for your manual adjustment of your dimming of your actual light. They've also included some pulleys used for raising or lowering your lights. Um, these would essentially attach to the metal hangers. These metal hangers, there's four of them attached to the mounts that I showed you earlier on the fixture itself to support the actual light itself. Also, they've included the RJ11 cord which uh, links together controllers. So you can control multiple lights all from one controller which is uh, very good for commercial rooms or people that have multiple lights and just uh, only want to control from one controller. Then you have your standard US and uh, Canadian 120 volt plug here. Uh, depending what area you come from, they'll send your standard plug for that. This is a very important part. Your light's not going to light up without this. Um, also, they've sent us some decals. Mars Hydro stickers, it comes in every package. I got some of these last time. You can use these to stick to the inside of your grow tent or your grow room walls or decal, whatever you feel like. Last but not least, we've got the actual user manual. This is a generic manual that comes with every light. It has the instructions for uh, all of the actual... Um, units themselves basic instructions for the controllers and stuff like that if you need more in-depth stuff check out their website we're gonna get this light hung up and we'll be right back welcome back guys and girls we've got this light now hung and lit up and man does she perform the angle on the lenses is just so superior to what their uh, old style reflectors were doing with that more focused beam it really reaches out to the end walls and it just covers everything giving a nice saturation to the full canopy um, unlike before where the end plants would kind of suffer because they would get less light intensity than the center ones due to that focused beam that the old reflectors used to give off and as you see she's really lit up and really bright you can't look at this thing straight because you'll start seeing dots after i wouldn't advise it i'd advise wearing lead uh, actual glasses when working under this when it's on but other than that this is amazing light Samsung diodes really push it over the edge with the UV and IR. Big game changer by Myers, by Myers Hydro. I'm really stoked to test this one out. We're going to be doing a weekly grow journal with this. So stay tuned to this channel on a weekly basis. And we'll be updating uh, how the plants grow under this actual fixture. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. And please hit subscribe. Thank you and take it easy.